Well, all right, hello everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Stone Block. And I'm already running out of crafting patterns in my crafting space. Not my subscribers, of course, but in my I, I don't have that much room left in my uh, in my interfaces over here, which is kind of funny. I'll need to make more and therefore get more channels with it, but whatever, we can cross that bridge when we come to it. I did upgrade the uh, sag mill and the alloy smelter just to the next level. I started realizing when I was looking at this that to get to the enhanced version, I need these end steel ingots, and I don't have end steel yet. Not that I couldn't make it because you can make it with, what, end stone, dark steel, and obsidian, and the alloy smelter. I could make it, but I just haven't yet, so... I don't, not in that much of a rush to do it, but I do have these guys upgraded a little bit, which took a little bit of, of ingenuity because I had to get all the patterns and stuff going in here. I don't have any pulsating iron chickens yet. I don't have any vibrant alloy chickens yet. I don't have any energetic alloy chickens yet. So I had to make these here in this, uh, in this crafting terminal, but I still am running into a slight problem with the sag mill for some reason, every so often my nether quartz dust gets gets stuck and my crafter is sitting there expecting another quartz dust. It's sent the command, but the dust doesn't go anywhere. I have to like manually do it every so often, uh, make the nether quartz dust, and I can't figure out why. So I'll deal with that one uh, a little bit later when we get there. But this is coming along nicely. Um, it's working for the most part besides that now with these inscribers. Oh, let me show you something else though. If we look at this, and we look at infinity... Look at those infinity ingots. 3,826. How do I have that many infinity ingots, you might ask? Come up here and check out my wall of infinity cows. Dun, dun, dun. Once I finally had two of them and just let them sit there and breed with the breeding machine, I got a lot of them and put them up like this with ender conduits all connecting going straight over into here. They're actually going into this demonically gargantuan drum up into the center tank. I thought I was going to actually have a backup, but since they take four hours to produce, it pretty much ends up getting made into, oh, you know what? I might have a backup now, which is, okay, it's a good thing that I did this. Um, so as you can see, there's infinity stuff over here. Maybe you won't, because you can see the infinity against the wall for some reason. What I did was in the wall here, stupid guy, in the wall down here, I put another ender tank that's pulling that ender going to this casting table and dumping it into one of these empty slots that I had over here. So this is my infinity ingot um, thing. I put in some emerald storage upgrades, actually. So eventually it will fill up, and that gargantuan drum will fill up as well, as long as I keep this thing running. But that is what's going on right now. So figure what we can do is let's look at this quest book. I only have three quests left, or three quests that I've got. One of them was a storage quest for... Uh, crafting monitor, co-processing units, um, and then one of the cow quests. It must be for my infinity cow I got. Let's get these guys. Chance cubes, draconic cores, and flux bore. Okay. I'm going to put these this stuff still in here for now. How many draconic cores do I have now? I have eight draconic cores. I don't know what this is. Mines blocks using RF. So I can... I can use this thing, right? Wow, it's a five by five. I just stared right at that guy. I am lucky. I just want to see how fast this thing is. If I were to get do anything up there, I'm trying to look for a place that I actually need to <laughs> need to dig into the wall. Let's just look at this. It's a five by five. Wow, it even mines that top one. Uh, I guess I do want to make this bigger on the ceiling at some point. Damn, that's kind of nice. I uh, I like this. Is there any options I can do with it? Press V to adjust the drilling area. Single block, tunnel, area. Oh, you can do a three by three by three? Hold on. Whoa, that is awesome. Flux bore resonance. I gotta see what this thing is. I love this thing. Not a creative, and it's the top tier one. Holy crap! Which requires all the other just some signal and what's even the, the basic one? He's a tool casing, a drill head, silver. So that doesn't look actually too bad to do. Um, and it can just do a one by two tunnel. This is pretty damn awesome. I am kind of excited for this. 
But we need to see what is next to do to progress this pack along. So if I'm ignoring just straight up going through all the quests, like I could do a lot of these quests just to get some things. Really, I'm getting into fighting the mighty Ender Chicken and fighting the Chaos Chicken. And to do that, I know how to get to the... I'm trying to remember how you make the, the chickens. Hold on. I think it tells you right here in this in this book. Here we go. The Ender Chicken is a powerful chicken. But chicken it, 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 yeah. The Ender Chicken is spawned by dropping a chicken egg on a ring of obsidian with a diamond block in the middle of it. In the end. Uh, use the chicken stick to destroy the chicken shield. So I have to go to the end and do that. Uh, so do I... I haven't gotten to the end yet. I do have my weapon, my chicken stick. Is that what I want to do? Right now, I don't... I wouldn't be able to survive. What I want to see, if I, what are my uses? Like an infinity helmet, what is this? Oh, that's just a, is the infinity helmet, is it Avericia? I think that is made from, yeah, it's extreme crafting. So I'm not into extreme crafting yet and I don't have any neutronium. I should get one of those neutronium. Where do these things come from again? Uh, I forgot what the neutronium thing is is called. It's not a factorizer. Uh, a neutronium. A neutron collector. So I would need a neutron collector, which I still need the extreme crafting table to do. So I need to get some of these going in order to actually get this neutronium stuff, and it'll take a long time to do. So I guess I don't need to worry about doing that now, but I want to see what I can do with my infinity ingots that I have. Is there anything cool whoops, that I can do with my infinity ingots? Make an infinity block. Curse of Vanishing. I can make... See, these need the neutronium again. Uh, okay, so is there no, like, just infinity armor or something of the like that I can just make? Molten gold... I can make okay let's just uh, 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 okay so there's tools there's no infinity armor or anything like that though I infinity armor that I can make without needing the extreme crafting I was thinking I could do something with the infinity ingots just to get them just to get them started so I need to look up like uh chest what kind of chest pieces can i go for of what i have now that would i need something that's gonna let me also do some um i want some flying some flight that would be very nice to get flight Ooh, supremium chest plate hold on that gets you flight as well don't i have supremium so i do have supremium ingots i think wait I don't have the Supremium ingots. I have... So, Supremium ingot with two Supremium essences. So, what can I do with these Supremium essences? Seed, furnace. Okay, maybe this is not the way I need to go about this. What is this? Block of Supremium essence. Because I do have all that uh, Supremium. Oh, that's not it. Yeah, I have all these Supremium stuff down here. If I can't turn them into something that I can actually make a, uh, that's a red, resonant redstone. See, I like the fact that I get the, the bonus of a flight. Although it needs nether stars. I can get nether stars, though. That's not actually that big of a deal. Supremium helmet and supremium armor. Ugh. So this is unfortunate. I just don't know where I should go with the, hi, guy, with the armor. The best method of getting the armor to move on to the mining dimension of the chicken. So, I'm just trying to see what else should I do. Should I go down the... So, here's the Inferium. In so, base base essence ingot. Takes me on to the Inferium ingot. So, how do I go about getting these ingots then? Because uh, it looks like I will need Inferium essence with the base essence ingot. Essence ingot. 
Well, there's a base essence in it. Hold on. If I make this with two... So it's really just a... I think this is just one of those things where it's going to be, you know... Uh, how do I get the base essence in it? Prosperity shards and iron. Oops. I mean, is the easiest way to put... No, 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 no. No, prosperity shards and iron. Do I get prosperity shards from over here? I do, right? These are prosperity shards, right? Yes. Uh, I have one. Why do I only have one prosperity shard? How do you get prosperity shards? They come from sieving, compressed, or sieving sand. I'm not having any of these guys sieve sand, am I? No. Now the question is, do I just get another one of these guys, have them do the sand? While these guys keep doing their thing? Are these guys like full? These guys are full, so let's just take this. Instead of doing the gravel anymore, I'm going to take out this filter. We're going to get a piece of sand. I need to start collecting those things up if I even want to do anything with, with this is the problem. So, we'll do that. Let's take that out, the gravel out. Let's put the sand in there. Let's go put this back in. And tell the sand to start going into this machine. This one? Yeah, it was this one. And... He's all on output. I have to see if this is going to work right. Oops, I need to... So right now it's not outputting uh, this, so I have to remember because this one, front, back, let it come out of there. There we go. There we go. Now I got sand going in there through the diamond mesh. Hopefully this is able to be made through through a diamond mesh, right? I don't need just need an iron stiff mesh. Yeah, I can use the diamond stiff mesh for this. To get a 16% um, chance. So we should start getting prosperity shards going in there. That will be a good start for what we need to move on. So let's look at what else we can do while I'm waiting for, for that to happen. Uh, can I do the base crafting seeds then? I just don't know. Am I getting prosperity shards from anywhere else? I could have sworn I had prosperity shards. But apparently not. And there's no prosperity chicken, right? I didn't miss a chicken. No, there's no prosperity chicken up here. Yeah, there's no prosperity chicken. So, okay. So let's look at the uh, base crafting seeds and the tier one crafting seeds and see if we can start running through part of this quest line at all. So crafting seed. So the base craft it's again, prosperity shards. Prosperity shards is going to be my holdup here, apparently. I'm gonna have to go make some, uh, yeah, I already got four of them in there. So that's working. So I can't do anything with the mystical agriculture. As it stands right now. Um, I could, I guess, go Draconic Evolution and start getting stuff that way. So make a Draconic Information Tablet. Draconic Information Tablet is made just with a Draconium Dust and a Stone, which should be easy enough. Oh, that's the one thing I actually don't have in my system right now. I need to put, <coughs> like... You know, let's do let's do that. Let's just get a a um, what do you call it? A uh, cobble. That was really strange on whatever I just hit. Cobblestone generators. I probably actually have some cobblestone generators, don't I? I do. I have two of them. Kind of 
if I upgrade these. Iron to a tier two. Diamond, blaze, emeralds. We're gonna beef the th this thing up all the way. This is easy enough. And I can just kind of go crafting, put this guy in here. We'll go iron, diamond, blaze. I knew I needed these as quests anyway. Emerald. And there we go. Now we got a, a tier five cobblestone generator. And what I should do is I should probably get one of these and hook up. Uh... Oh, that's unfair. Fortunate. I want to put this. Oh, I don't need both of something I just saw over there. Man, I want one of these on the bottom because it's going to auto push to the top. I was just going to put it right underneath. So I can take some drawers. I need my key. And I need a. I'll take one of these. Oh, I didn't actually want you to craft. I already have one. I thought it was... Hold on. Am I hitting the wrong button? Shift right click. Okay. So we'll get one of these. And then we'll get a... Um, this. I had moved two of my... Two sets of drawers for seeds and for wheat over here. Uh, because they weren't full. And I actually don't really need them both in the system. I just need one of them in the system. But I can do this and set it down just to the side. It's not going to be that big of a deal. Put this down here. We can put this down there. And then quickly put this in here and lock it. Oh, no. It actually got cobble anyway. So it's just going to be getting cobble super fast in there. So now I have cobble in my system, which that was a problem before. Is I didn't actually have any way of getting cobble into the system. Um, so I keep having to come up and just grab stacks of cobble and put them in there. So now i got cobble in the system as well as some rewards to look at. Ooh, basic block storage. Another star crux and an ultimate furnace. I love it. I do need to get a uh, a furnace hooked up at some point um, into, the, into the system as well. But we will also put this flux storage... Uh, let's put it here, turn it on to the network, and make sure there's no transfer limit, and it's full. It's good. So now we can probably work on making that draconic thingy. I need some... I think I can get some draconic dust, I'm assuming is, because I have plenty of this stuff. I'm going to grab 32. Why not? Uh, I'll just go put them over here in the sag mill. This should make dust, right? Yes, it does. Look at that. <laughs> My octactic capacitor makes this thing a breeze. So now we should be able to make... Sorry, it wasn't that. It was the draconic... This guy. Apparently those needed to be... Cobble. Actually, let's... <laughs> that, that thing is almost full already. That's That's how ridiculous this thing is. What if I just do... I'm still going to have to do this, which is unfortunate, to put these in the system. So I don't have any good furnace yet. I didn't I didn't even set up a redstone furnace down there yet to put um, any furnace recipes. I'm just kind of doing this. But if I get a handful of stacks of smooth stone into the system, it should, should be okay. This furnace is amazing. And then we can go boom, 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 boom. And now we should be able to make this without a problem. I don't need to make a crafting recipe for it because, boom, failed to download. Awesome. Specify, this doesn't exist. Great. Current mod. Oh, yes. This is the most informational book I have ever seen in my life. Uh, no idea why this is not working. Um, that's weird, but I guess this is a pointless book for me. And we'll go back in the system. But that's okay. It just breaks us into... The Draconic Evolution. Um, ooh, I want to make a Porter, Advanced Dislocator, all that stuff. The end, all make a mob grinder. Have it. Hold on. We made this a long time ago when that Wither was on the loose. So I have it up here, ready to rock. Barely have used him. Got him. That's it, right?
Make a mob grinder. The mob grinder will instantly mine or kill all mobs. Got it. Quick complete. Doesn't consume the item. Item will be auto detected. Why are you not auto detecting then? Stop it. I think it's because you have power in you. Oh my god, is it because it has power in it? That's annoying. Um, maybe what I can do is just use it. That's the no, that's not the killie side. I might just have to make another one of these. That would be really annoying. Uh, can I get some soul sand? It might just be worth it to make another one. That's kind of sad to me <laughs> that I literally have made that thing already and I can't claim the quest right now. Um, what does it take to make this Dracon? I just need to go at Draconic for this, right? At Draconic, where is my mob grinder? As a generator, mob grinder. What am I missing? I'm actually not missing as much as I thought. So I'm missing a Draconic core, two diamond swords, and a furnace. So furnace is easy, obviously. So let's go boom, boom, boom. Furnace two swords should be easy. And then those draconic cores. I have plenty of them upstairs. It's kind of a shame to have to log on. I'm gonna take some of this stuff and go put it down in there. My black lotus. Those cores. Was a generator one of the quests too? No. But we'll put this stuff in here. And now we should be able to make this mob grinder. Which is sad. So we got it. Boom, put it back in the system. That was annoying. Um But that's not really what I came here for. I came here to Try to get into Wyvern. So Wyvern stuff. Maybe I should get into this this stuff. So Wyvern Helmet. I got to remember how to do all this stuff. And it's setting up the Wyvern Helmet. Oh, you just make the Wyvern Helmet? How do I get Wyvern Cores and my Wyvern Energy Cores? So I need Draconic Cores and Nether Stars. So these you just make. Let's get some crafting recipe. I thought they had to go into, I don't know. Pattern terminal, patterns, okay. Boom, boom. Okay, so we got that pattern. That pattern, even though I don't have any nether stars. I don't really need one for the helmet itself. Draconic core, draconium ingots. So these are going to go into this terminal, but the problem is I will still need, I will still need to start getting nether stars. So I need soul sand, which I don't have that much soul sand, which is unfortunate, um, but I do need wither skulls. Take 64 of those guys. I'll, I'll just get more in the thing. So now I gotta remember how soul sand was made. It was made by throwing. Oh, there's a soul sand chicken. Well, heck, I need to get a soul sand chicken going. That's really what I need to do. Atomic reconstructor. Oh, just sand and the atomic reconstructor. And that's easy as well. So hold on. We can go with the sand. Let's grab a stack. Way over here to the atomic reconstructor. And you can see that thing's still making my infinity ingots, which is pretty cool. Uh, where did I put my recon? Oh, there it is. So can I just go like these? Well, do it again. Didn't realize this just didn't have enough power to do this all right away. It'll get there eventually. So now we can go, and I don't have any builders or anything like that yet. Could work on doing that automated. Um, I don't think I really need to work on doing it automated yet. I don't even actually think I need to. Can I just lay this guy down? 
I think you can. So I don't have to go jumping on the top. I think you I think you can make them like this. Not 100% certain. Let's find out. Yeah, that works. Cool. I wonder if I even need to close this or is he going to I'm going to try not to close it and just come this way where he can't see me. Cuz this should take care of him like immediately. Yes. Takes care of him quite quickly. Though. I was going to say, I didn't get my nether star, but there it is. So I just do this for a little bit. Because I think I needed one per piece of armor. So I should need like four. Of these guys. But I could do multiple of these guys at once too. With this setup. Can I? Let me let me let me see what happens if I try to get if I try to get really cheeky with this. So basically, can I just go one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. And then go. Then I just go. That didn't work. Why didn't that work? Do you have to place the heads last? Or is it not counting because the heads are technically not connected to the part that I think they're connected to? They're connected to the back wall or something? So, oh, didn't want to do that. Yeah, I wanted to do that actually. Because I can just go in from the side instead of the front. Let me try this. Yeah, we can go in this way. I'm just doing some testing. The Withering Souls. Close that up. Come back in here. Or do they need room? Can they not spawn because of the room constraint? There might be a room size thing. That works. That should be good, right? Seemed to have worked how I wanted it to. I mean, I'll go with that for now. We'll 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 get there. Um, so I got a handful of these things. I can always automate something to do that later. Trying to remember what you use to automate in this particular series, uh, block placing, but I'm, I mean, I'm sure there's a way. So if I've got these wyvern cores now, if I go wyvern helmet, can I just make this? No. Why? Oh, I need to make a handful of those. Let's go craft 10 of these. I'm missing 10 nether stars. Apparently I need more of these than I realized. So this is what my nether stars were for. Well, we can go pretty quickly get some more nether stars. I will have to come up with something in between episodes on how to automate the, uh, the gathering of the nether stars. Because clearly that's going to be a thing. I'm glad this is going to be pretty easy to do, though. Right, just instant, instant kill. This thing is ridiculous. Ridiculous. This will end up being 11. Probably kill one more set of these guys. 
downstairs, see if we can make some of this this wyvern gear at least. I think the wyvern gear gives you flight as well. Cannot remember though. It's been a while. Better take this down. There we go. And this should be enough to play with when all is said and done. I hear you, Witch. Okay. So now, 14 Nether Stars. Definitely enough to do whatever I need. Can't this guy just get in there as well? I'm sick of these stupid Endermen being around. So let's go with the cores. What are you for the Wyvern energy cores? Available one, missing a 39. Oh, I don't have a stupid recipe for a redstone block. Uh, no, cancel. See, this is where you end up filling up a lot of your, uh... Block of redstone. We're going to filling up a lot of your patterns. Because you need to have patterns that make these simple things. And that's really what... Just takes up all the room. So, cores now. Let's get these fancy cores. Ten of them. I have enough to do this. Start. That actually should be pretty quick. Because it's just crafting. And then, still ten of these. Oh, I'm missing the ten other stars. I got the other stars right there. Cores. Start crafting those. And now, we can go with the... Like wyvern helmet. I can't make the stupid diamond helmet. I just need all. I need all diamond gear is what I need right now. So let's just go diamonds. Just make a set real quick. Didn't mean to do that, but whatever. For either way, this doesn't work like a traditional crafting window. Oh, legendary. I didn't realize you got legendary loot crate chests from those guys. So if I make a helmet, boom. This thing's going to instantly start charging, which is awesome. Chest piece, boom. Boots, boom. And leggings, boom, baby. And we are slowly charging up, but we will get there. So I'm going to take these off. Put on this stuff. No, I, apparently this does not give you flight. So there's wyvern core of this stuff. Um, I should have just gotten quests for the wyvern stuff, right? Oh, just all, all the wyvern stuff. And then draconic is what I really want to get to. Let's remember how you get to the draconic. I think you have to go, like a draconic helmet, I need to put it in the energetic... Oh, I need to charge it up. To make it, I need to get into a draconic tier fusion crafter. So that's where I need to start going, is the, the fusion crafting, and this is what I can't, aha, here we go. So I need the fusion crafting core, I need the basic fusion crafting injectors to start. Okay, so this is where I really need to get going with this stuff. Uh, what was this, lapis, lazuli, do you need lapis for all these? No, you don't need lapis for all these. So I need blocks of iron there, then those ones are just upgrades. So let's just get some lapis. Just make a, these blocks of that. I didn't mean to make 64 of them. I'll do the same thing with iron, just because. Okay, clear the clear this out, please, for the love of God. Okay, so let's make 64 of those, whatever, and clear that out. Put this in here. Put these legendaries in here, so premium. Just get out of my inventory. I don't need you, cow halter. Just nice and slowly doing all this stuff. So let's make this guy. What am I missing? A draconic core. Let's make a draconic core. 
So now I got my fusion crafting core. And then I need these guys, which are a bunch of draconic cores anyway. So. So I think I need total of like 10 or 11 or something like that of these. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. I'm going to make 8 for now. And do that. So then I need my conduits. What are my conduits? My ener I have energy conduits. I thought I had made some really fast or really high energy conduits at some point. Yeah, so ender energy conduits. Apparently I didn't. Ender fluid conduits is what I made. I did not make the ender energy conduits. Enhanced ender. So I really want to make these, which are going to be vibrant alloy with conduit binder. I do have vibrant alloy and I have conduit binder. I can actually make a pattern for this should be this one right here and I should actually be able to make them because I think I need to transfer a lot of energy um, I don't even know if this will be enough I might need to get a higher tiered one because I just realized that there's more there's definitely faster ones than than this but let's find out if I can get tender energy can I actually craft like 30 of these says it's going to let me do it stuff's working over there so we will find out and I need a flux point uh, flux cores flux point can I make one can I make another one not that I really want to but I mean I will eventually want to I don't think I can make yeah, I can't make these flux cores yet. So I don't have that. So, let's just look at the energy. They're still crafting. Let's see what we're stuck on. So this is actually working, I think. Yeah, that's actually still working. So this isn't locked up yet. It's just getting my vibrant alloys. Because this thing is still not the fastest thing in the world. Uh, but it's going through. It's making my vibrant alloys. And I will need to set up a spot. Maybe we'll do... Somewhere over here, like in the corner. Should I get these guys? Like one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Something like this. With this here. I don't know if that will work or not, but we will we will soon find out. We need to get behind this stuff to get it connected with any normal conduits as well. I just want to make sure that this thing is actually starts working and then oh, no, I just need energy conduits. Yep, worked. I made my Ender Energy Conduits, which is great. I just don't remember how much they transfer. 20,000 UI per tick. Don't know if that's a lot, a little. I guess time will tell. And I'll do something like this. Sorry, didn't want to do that. I thought that needed energy. I thought that needed energy. Maybe that doesn't need energy. In that case, I can save some. Some money on this stuff. Some money. I can save some uh, energy on this stuff. Actually, kind of shocked me if this doesn't need. These things are energy in and energy out, I guess. So then if I took a flux, my flux point, just put it here. And set this up to my network. And I need to definitely not get the transfer limit on this one. So now these are on. 
So let me take, I need to upgrade this to a different core. So if I took this and you, what is it? It's um, wyver, one wyvern, two draconic, a draconium block, and four. Oh, I do need a, I need a fifth one of these. I need an extra basic infusion crafter. I need eight total. I want to see how fast this is going to actually transfer to and how much this is going to put a drain on my power. Oops. Could synchronize. I know somebody was talking about synchronizing my my JEI with all this stuff. Standard search. I don't. I don't actually know how to how to do it right now. But there's a way to do it. I'm not that worried about it though. Um, so let's get that guy. And then what was it? The so I need Wyvern, two Draconics, and this is Purr. One Wyvern, Core, two Draconic Cores. So I need one, two. If I needed all eight of these. Okay, so that's actually... When I, I'm gonna need more. Now that's right. I need it like this. Let's get this out of here. I need these. I need two per. So I need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, fourteen, thirteen of these. Perfect. Two, 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 and then. Um, a draconium and four diamonds per. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Did nine, whatever. And diamonds. Let's grab. Gonna get some stuff out of my inventory here because we I just put my draconic blocks away. So this should be exactly what I need. Now I just need to get them into the, the stacks appropriately. Um, which this is not the way. It's funny. I just stacked them all up like that. And that's not the way I'd want to stack them. Because I want to put enough to do this. I need to separate into one stack. This would need to be into two stacks. This is just trying to speed this thing along. Two stacks. This will need to be into that many stacks, actually. No, four stacks. Four stacks. There. That needs to be into four stacks. And this needs to be into eight stacks. So I need to put these in like this, I believe. Some people are looking at me going, what the hell are you doing right now? Oh yeah, it's gonna just pop into your inventory in the right way. I forgot that. One, two, this, and this. That, in theory, if I pop this guy in here, should work. Two Draconic. Yeah, that should work. It's not giving me the start. Is this not close enough? Does it not have power? I could have sworn that this thing needed power. I just, I don't understand. Why, are you not giving me an interface for a reason? Can you not accept this type of power? Is it too far away? 
I definitely don't think it's too far away. Why can't I get power into this thing? Can I go get a... A wrench? Can I get a Yetta wrench? Does it just not want to accept? Or another flux? What if I put this thing... What if I put this thing directly on the flux point? I just want to see if it powers up. No, it still isn't powering up. Can I find a specific document page? I'm glad that this thing doesn't have the ability to do anything with documents. Um, no. I know somebody's like rolling their eyes right now saying, this is so obvious, Jeff. Why don't you just do this the right way? And I'm saying, you know what? Screw you. <laughs> No, I'm, just, I'm just kidding. I just, I just have no idea why this isn't working. I want to make a Yetta wrench. I cannot make a Yetta wrench. I need electrical steel ingots, which I can't make electrical steel ingots without steel and silicon. I think I have both steel and silicon. Steel. It's only three. Silicon. Oh, whatever, steel. Right, come here. I can't put steel in this thing, huh? Do I not have another way to make electrical steel since I can't make it in there? Oh, that's frustrating. It's iron, pulverized coal, and silicon. Okay, let's just do this. Electrical steel... It's a different kind of. Oh, it's not a different kind. Iron, pulverized coal, and silicon. I don't know why this thing's not showing this. That's weird. This recipe in the right way. Here we go. Iron, pulverized coal. There we go. And we'll put you into the alloy smelter. And now it's full, but that's fine. The electrical steel. Three. Start. Yetta wrench and a stone gear. Let's make one of those. And now we should be able to make our Yetta wrench. Right when that thing finishes up. Should be now. This is the only thing I can think of right now is that the Yetta wrench. Because I have not had one all series. That it needs to connect. You need to use it to force this thing to connect in. But otherwise, I'm going to have to figure out what it is that I'm not understanding about this build. No? Okay, hang tight. Okay, well, aren't I stupid? Apparently, these things have to be in a 3x3 three three alignment, not a uh, 4 across, like I thought they could be. And I need to move this thing closer, and voila, look at that. It doesn't actually need power. Um, let's look at how fast this thing is going to be. It doesn't charge up very fast. I don't really have that good of a, a charging system in here. Um, once it gets past this charging phase, I will be able to speed this thing along with the with the acceleration wand so now we got one of these and i will eventually need like a multiple of these so let me take these guys out of here i forgot how to get these guys out i think you need a, a bare hand there we go right click it with a bare hand break this guy put this guy back <clears throat> and then i can put my cores back in there and do it to the next one and basically i just need to do this to all of them and if I want, I need to get it up to the draconic core. So if I look at the um, infuse, 
No, fusion, not infusion. So these are going to be the wyvern core. I will need to get up to this, which needs awakened draconium, which is fine. I have plenty of awakened draconium, actually, because I have an awakened draconium chicken upstairs. Um, he only makes nuggets, which is the problem. I should have made something with him a little bit bigger, but I didn't. So let's just get this thing going. Um, so basically, I just need to go through and make all of these to the high enough tier that I can start working on my draconium gear, draconic gear. Actually, shouldn't be a problem. So I can make the draconic things. What's the draconic gear, though? Let's take a look. I need... Ooh. Awakened cores and draconic energy cores. Awakened cores. I need more nether stars. I need to figure out a system to get my withers on a constant, like, destructive force is what I, I kind of need to start doing, it, it appears. So there's a couple things we'll have to do next episode or off camera or something. I'll probably wait till next episode and do it just because... There we go. Um, because that's <laughs> that's the way it is. Uh, I am curious while this thing is draining this buffer. Oh yeah, look at that. I am expending through some of the expending through, um, pulling out some of this energy pretty quickly. Granted, I, this is that's a basic. That's a basic. This is the Herculean one. Um, these two basics are completely gone. They should start. They should fill up again really fast, though. I should start seeing them fill up again. That thing's still running and putting things in with a flux plug. That thing shouldn't be pulling out energy anymore, I wouldn't think, actually. What is happening right now? I want to see my network statistics. I didn't mean to create a new network. No. Uh, why doesn't it have more flowing in here? Make sure my transfer limits aren't on any of these. I don't seem to be getting energy flowing in here right now. Yeah, inputs plus 760 with no transfer limit. So I am 760 and 160. Um, hmm. I don't see why these wouldn't be... Oh, it is going up. It's just going up slowly. Okay, so I guess it works. But it, but it is going to... It's taking a significant chunk of of my power. So I'm going to need to get a new power solution at some point here. Uh, because... Or an additional power solution, I should say. Not a new one. Because I... I can continue doing this for a while until I run out. I just need to get more of those magnetic dynamos. And things like that. Or we'll be fine. We'll be fine, guys. All right, guys. So I got to do this for a while. And I'll see you in the next episode.